What if I told you? There's a cube that doesn't belong in our world. A cube you can't hold, can't build, can't even truly imagine. Yet, it exists, not in space as we know it, but one step beyond. This is the Tesseract, a 4D cube that challenges everything we think we know about reality. Today, we'll unfold what lies beyond the third dimension and glimpse how something invisible might still be real. Everything starts simple, a single dot. Add movement and the dot becomes a line, 1D, length only. Drag that line sideways. Now you have a square, 2D, a shape of flatness. Lift it upward, give it depth, it becomes a cube, 3D. So here's the question, if each step adds a new direction, what happens if we move beyond depth itself? What lies in the direction that no one can point to? We live trapped in 3D, length, width, height. Every direction we know fits inside these three, but mathematicians discovered there's another direction, one completely orthogonal to all we can point. They call it the fourth dimension. It's not time yet. It's a true spatial direction, invisible, but mathematically real. And if we could move through it, we'd leave our world like stepping off a shadow. Our brains evolved for 3D survival, not 4D visualization. We can't see higher space, but we can project it. Like shadows reveal shape. A 3D cube casts a 2D square shadow. So what happens when a 4D cube casts its shadow? That shadow is what we call the tesseract the visible trace of something greater than space. The Tesseract is not fantasy, it's pure geometry. Take a cube, stretch it through the fourth dimension, connect every matching corner. Now you have eight cubes nested within one another, linked by unseen edges. It looks strange, even alive, lines twisting and folding through each other. That's because you're seeing its 3D shadow projected into your world. It's not broken. It's just beyond comprehension. You've seen animations of a tesseract spinning, its faces folding, crossing, blending. It seems to bend and glitch, but that's not chaos. It's perspective. When a 4D object turns, its 3D shadow morphs in ways our eyes can't predict. Just like a cube's 2D shadow looks odd when rotated, the same happens one level higher. We're not seeing it wrong. We're just not made to see it fully. Imagine you're a 2D being living on a sheet of paper. You'd see lines and edges, but never height. Now, if a human passed through your world, you'd see a circle that appears, grows, shrinks, and vanishes. That's how a 4D being would appear to us, not all at once but through impossible transformations. We'd only see cross sections of something far greater. Here's a clue. Every higher dimension leaves traces. Draw a dot, 1D. Connect to make a line, 2D. Stack lines, arrow square, stack squares, arrow cube. Now, project cubes the same way, and you get a tesseract. It's like geometry's echo. Every world contains shadows of the next, we live surrounded by signs of what's above us, if we know how to look. Even if our eyes fail, math does not. The Tesseract follows perfect logic. Eight cubes, 16 vertices, 32 edges, 24 square faces. These aren't guesses, they're proofs. Equations describe exactly how a hypercube exists. We can't see it, but we can calculate it and that's enough to prove it's real in higher space. Some call time the fourth dimension, but that's metaphor, not math. Time and space intertwine in relativity, yet geometry's fourth axis is spatial. If time were spatial, you could step into yesterday, but physics says otherwise. Still, the metaphor hints at truth. To move beyond dimensions is to step beyond limits. A 4D object entering 3D space wouldn't appear at once. 
it would pass through us. We'd see parts flicker, stretch, merge, impossible forms emerging. Just as a 3D sphere through flatland creates a shifting circle, a 4D sphere would seem like a growing cube, then vanish. Reality could be filled with shapes we only ever glimpse. What we call real is bound by what we can sense. But reality doesn't stop where vision ends. The Tesseract reminds us, seeing is not knowing. Our limits aren't of truth, they're of perspective. If a shadow believes it's the world, it will never realize the light above it. In Edwin Abbott's Flatland, a two-dimensional world learns of three-dimensional existence and calls it heresy. The square cannot imagine a sphere until one passes through. We are that square now. Mathematics plays the role of the sphere, revealing what's real even when unseen. In physics, extra dimensions aren't fiction. String theory needs 10 or 11 to work. Most are curled too small to sense, but they may explain gravity's weakness or quantum entanglement's mystery. Perhaps the Tesseract is not fantasy, but a faint echo of how reality's truly built. From Interstellar's time-folding room to Marvel's Tesseract, holding infinite energy, we use fiction to express what math already told us. Higher dimensions feel divine. We sense there's more, and the Tesseract becomes the symbol of beyond. A 4D being could peer through walls, see inside us, even view every side of a cube at once. To them, what's hidden to us is transparent. That perspective isn't fantasy. It's how we appear to Flatlanders. They'd call us gods. We'd call 4D beings the same. If every dimension casts a shadow, then maybe our 3D world is itself a projection of something higher. What we touch could be a slice of a vaster existence. We are shadows, living, breathing echoes of a realm one step beyond. We build telescopes, equations, simulations, all trying to glimpse beyond. The Tesseract is more than geometry. It's a symbol of human hunger to transcend limits. Every discovery begins the same way. A question, what if there's more? So what is the Tesseract? A 4D cube? A metaphor? A mirror? Maybe all of them. It shows how tiny our sight is, yet how vast our curiosity can reach. We can't step into 4D, but we can imagine it. And that might be our most human dimension of all.